Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Gagan and I'm a fourth year medical student. This video is in the continuation of the last video which was acute inflammation. In this video I'll be discussing chronic inflammation. If you have not watched acute inflammation video, you can click on the i button on the upper right corner of your screen. So uh, let's start with chronic inflammation. Now what is chronic inflammation? Chronic inflammation is the delayed response to uh, it can be anything like autoimmune disorders cancers persistent <clears throat> infections or it can be due to prolonged acute inflammation and uh, the basic characteristic of chronic inflammation is that the two types of cells the two types of Primary cells are present in chronic inflammation, which are macrophages and lymphocytes. Now, what is the function of macrophages? Macrophages, as we all know, they phagocytize the pathogen or for that matter anything that is available at the site of inflammation. And lymphocytes can be of two types, T and B lymphocytes. A very important thing here is that the T cells uses TCR, which are T cell receptors on MHC molecules. That is, CD4 plus cells use TCR, that is T cell receptors on MHC class 2 and CD8 plus cells use receptors on MHC class 1 and these activated CD4 plus cells they release some cytokines these are the chemicals which are released by CD4 and this then makes the B cells and CD8 plus cells to release some kinds of interleukins which we'll discuss now. I'll erase all of it so that I can continue this part uh, through the whole board. So as we, as we said, activated CD4 plus cells makes the B cells and CD8 plus cells to release some interleukins which are interleukin 4 interleukin 5, interleukin 10. 5 and 10 here are very important. The main function of interleukin 5 is xenophil chemotaxis and the main function of interleukin 10 is to inhibit function of CD8 plus T cells. Now what is the function of CD8 plus T cells? It releases interleukin 2 and IFN gamma. IFN stands for interferon and interferon gamma, specifically gamma, this is macrophage activator. Another function of CD8 plus cells is that they release perforins which are the enzymes and also granzymes. I have discussed this in uh, the video on apoptosis and necrosis. Perforins, as per the word, they, they induce pores in the cell membrane and, this, and, the, and these pores let the granzymes to come inside the cell and this causes apoptosis which is also called cytotoxic killing because CD8 plus cells are also called cytotoxic cells. Now, in some cases of chronic inflammation, uh, we can talk about granulomatous inflammation. Uh, when the macrophages uh, ingest something or engulf something, they become huge or big. These macrophages, when fused together with each other, they form a giant cell. This is called granuloma. When macrophages fuse and form, giant cells. So basically granuloma is also in some books granuloma is also called as the layer of macrophages around a core nucleus. So uh, macro in, macrophage, uh, in some books macrophages 
in granuloma in in relation to granuloma is also referred to as epithelioid epithelioid or histiocytes but that's all that those are all the words for macrophages so there are two types of granulomas caseating and non caseating caseating has central necrosis and it is typical for uh, inflammations in tuberculosis or fungal infections whereas in non caseating granuloma there is lack of central necrosis and it can occur in response to um, foreign body maybe foreign body or foreign material that is present in the body but the body is not able to eliminate it or it can be in sarcoid doses it can be seen in cat scratch disease or in crohn's disease there are so many other diseases but these are just the examples and just for extra information you can also note that for the diagnosis of tb tuberculosis acid fast bacteria stain is used the short form here is afb acid fast bacteria and for fungal infections we can use gms stain which is also, which is mm, grocodes methanamine silver stain it is also called just silver stain so this was all about uh, chronic inflammation we discussed and that the two main cells that are important that, that are important in chronic inflammation are macrophages and lymphocytes and then we discussed about t and b lymphocytes how the cd4 plus activated cd4 plus introduces b cells and t cells to work with interleukins different types of interleukins and then we discussed about granuloma what is granuloma and what are the two forms that is caseating and non caseating granuloma the caseating granuloma is very important as uh, we have many questions on caseating granuloma regarding tb tuberculosis has caseating granuloma i have discussed this in necrosis and apoptosis video also that caseating necrosis i discussed about caseating necrosis caseating means cheese like appearance cheese like so whenever there is word caseating granuloma or necrosis it is always tuberculosis so this was all about chronic inflammation if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please click on the subscribe button and also click on that bell icon so that you can get notified when i upload my new videos thank you for watching this video keep supporting and keep motivating